Defend yourself against DDoS attacks by hiding your true IP address with ExpressVPN. And visit my custom link expressvpn.com slash gillymaster in the description to find out how you can get an extra 3 months free. Hey everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online video here on the channel. Today I'm bringing you my in-depth guide and review of the new taxi business. It's going to be much more on the review side more than the in-depth because there's not really much depth to the taxi business in general. So I'll mostly be talking about why that is and giving some of my suggestions for how it could be improved to be more fun and just better overall. So to start the taxi business, you need to either purchase the taxi from Warstock for $650,000 or you can go to the downtown cab company that's marked on the map. It's near the casino right across the street, basically. It's not hard to find at all. And you can start it from there instead for free. Word of advice, do not buy the taxi from Warstock. If you really want the taxi that badly, just complete 10 taxi fares using the downtown cab location and then buy the taxi because at least then you'll have the trade price and it'll be a couple hundred thousand dollars cheaper. But even with that, I do not recommend buying it for two main reasons. First reason is the only advantage the bought cab has over the one used for free out of the depot is that you can spawn it closer to you at one of the Pegasus vehicle spawn locations. You can't customize it in any way, you can't store it in your garage, so there's really no difference at all, which is a lot of wasted potential if you ask me. And the second reason, you will most likely never make a return on your investment even with the trade price. The pay is that bad. What you should do instead is get to rank 25 in the arena war mode because then you'll unlock the taxi custom which is an upgraded version of the taxi with a different paint job, different rims, performance upgrades, so it's much faster and also works for the taxi work which you see me using in the gameplay here. And this is also free so bottom line, just do not buy the regular taxi, save your money. Now the way the payout works for the taxi fare is you have a guaranteed amount you'll make that's in the range of like 100 to 150 depending on how far you have to drive. And then the real money maker is the tip amount. Now the tip amount will vary between one to two thousand dollars and slowly increases over time as you complete each fare up until you get to ten in a row. So it starts out at like one thousand dollars and eventually maxes out at like two grand per tip. But that's just the default amount because most of the time it's going to be decreasing because if you take a long time or crash into things with the taxi, the tip amount will go down. So unless you're an absolute perfect driver, you can expect to lose a few hundred on the tip value every now and then. The pay is absolute garbage. I did this for two and a half hours to grind out the 50 fares for the platinum reward in the stats menu, and I was left with just about $80,000. After two and a half hours of taxi work, I got 80 grand. I then proceeded to do a time trial, which took me a little over a minute and made $100,000. So, I mean, that just shows how peasantry the pay is for the taxi work. But, Gilly, the pay is actually realistic. Taxi drivers, they don't make a lot of money. Oh yeah, you're right, it's so realistic. Oh, oh, by the way, can I ask you something? When's the last time you tipped an Uber driver $1,000? Yeah, that's what I thought. Now get your shit-ass argument out of here. Anyways, so if the pay is horrible, then the only reason why players would even do the missions at all is if they're fun. And unfortunately, there's no variations in the fares. It's literally just you picking them up and driving them to the destination every single time. It's some of the most tedious gameplay I can think of, and you even run into these same NPCs after like the first six fares. There's not many variations of NPCs. Being a taxi driver in real life would probably be more exciting to be honest because at least you'd see a bunch of different people and characters. There are some unlockable liveries that you can get for completing fares. If you complete 50 taxi fares in total, you'll get the taxi livery for the Broadway which is an unreleased car. And if you complete 10 stunt jumps while on taxi fares, you'll get the taxi livery for the Eudora, also an unreleased car. You don't have to do all 50 at one time, they can be done in separate play sessions, which is nice. If you're wondering if you can use those new cars with the taxi liveries as taxis for the taxi work, because that does sound like a fun idea. Unfortunately, you can't because just it's a fun idea, so it was thrown to the dumpster and set ablaze. Back to the stock taxi for you, peasant. So that's pretty much it for the taxi work, just not very good or fun all around. And I have to wonder, who is this for exactly? I know the pay is trash because there's no buy-in cost. You can literally do this from a level 1 character the moment you get on GTA Online. But at the same time, the pay is so bad that even as a brand new character, especially with the career builder now, there would be still zero incentive to do the taxi work. It's just that bad. You can make more money as a level 1 character doing other things. Easily. The pay is bad, the fares don't have any variation in them, so it's not very fun, and the rewards are bad. This would have been a good thing to do back in like 2013 when the game first came out, and the money you make with this might have made sense back then, when there's very little to do in the game, but 9 years later it seems so out of place in its current form, I just don't get why they didn't put more effort into making it fun. So now I want to go over some improvements that I think would make the whole taxi work thing way better. And you guys can let me know what you think about it in the comments, but I have a feeling that a lot of you guys will like this. 
So first of all, when you buy the taxi, it should be storable in your garage and you should be able to customize it how you want to. Let us take it into Los Santos Customs and upgrade it. We know it's possible because of the existence of the taxi custom from Arena War, so there really should be no reason why this isn't the case. Letting us have a taxi to purchase only to use from Pegasus is just boring and lame. With your custom taxi, if you took it into Los Santos Customs to customize it, you would notice two interesting upgrades. That would be Nitrous Boost and a Bunny Hop ability like the Arena War vehicles have. These would remain locked until you complete all 50 taxi jobs. And if you play the older GTAs, you probably know what I'm getting at here. Because San Andreas, once you completed all 50 taxi missions in that game, every taxi you got into would have Nitrous and Bunny Hopping abilities. And this would be kind of like a callback to that. While at the same time working to add some fun elements to use while on the taxi fares after you complete the 50 initially. You could hop over things to take shortcuts and it would make the experience a little less mind numbing. Also just how cool would it be to have a custom taxi that can hop with nitrous. The default cooldown for the taxi fast travel would be 48 minutes, however completing all 50 taxi fares would also lower that to 10 minutes for non-GTA Plus members. And if you do have GTA Plus you'd still have that cooldown of 5 minutes. Again, what we're doing here is making some worthwhile rewards for participating in the taxi work to make players want to get all 50 of them done. It also wouldn't be as big of a difference with GTA Plus than it is currently, which would lower that backlash a bit. The vehicles that you unlock the taxi livery for would also gain the ability to be used on taxi work upon unlocking said liveries, because why not? More variation for the player is always better. And on the gameplay side of things, taxi mission fares would have a chance to get some special variants. For example, you pick up a criminal who is wanted by the cops. Upon entering your taxi, you are greeted with a wanted level and have to lose the cops. After losing them and jumping off the client, you are rewarded with a small percentage of the recent bank heist, let's just say like $20,000 for the tip. Another special mission would be a person in dire need of medical care. When they enter your taxi, a timer will start and you will have to hurry up to get to a hospital in the allotted time. And if you do get there in time, you get an increased tip of five grand for this variation, let's just say. Now, would this be better for like an ambulance mission? Sure, but... It's just there to serve as another variant of the taxi mission to make it more fun. Moving on, how about a two-person fare? This would be as common as just a regular old one-person fare, but you just get double the tip amount from 2k to 4k, let's just say. Two people would get in your taxi instead of one. Another more common type would be the destination changer. You'd pick them up, they'd give you one destination, and about halfway to the first one, they change their mind and want to go somewhere else that's a bit farther away, or maybe even in the complete opposite direction. Upon arriving at the second destination, they give you a bigger tip amount. And the rarest fare type would be the VIP or CEO perhaps. This client would award you with the biggest tip mount and upwards of 30 to 40k for a single drive, but it would be exceptionally rare. Finding this one would be like a 2% chance to happen perhaps. That right there is 5 different mission variants they could use for fares. Of course, still have the regular ones where you just drive those single client and that's that, but sprinkle in some interesting ones to make the gameplay more fun and varied. And it also fix the other issues of the terrible payouts because the special variants would award you with more money for completing them. I'm not saying the pay has to be on par with like the Kai Preco heist or the best ways to make money in the game, but when store robberies are just about as lucrative as the taxi work, something's gotta change. And I came up with this entire concept in like one to two hours. It's not that hard. With all these changes, if this is how the business actually was, it would be great. What we got was something that could have been nice nine years ago, but feels super out of place by today's standards. And it just feels lazy, honestly. I expect more out of Rockstar. And I know they could do more with this because they have done more with it in the older GTA titles. So let me know what you guys think about the taxi business in GTA Online, and do you like my concept of what it should have been? If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more GTA Online content. I want to give a huge shout out to all my channel members for your support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can either use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.